Electric current and its effects. Electricity is used to light our homes, schools and offices and to run fans, radios, tape recorders, electric irons, mixers, grinders, television sets, room heaters, washing machines and other electrical appliances. It is used to run huge machines in factories, to run trains, to run movies in cinema halls and to do various other jobs. It is difficult to imagine our lives without electricity. Perhaps we realize this most acutely whenever there is a power cut and we have to do without electricity for a long time. At that time, everything seems to come to a standstill. Electric Circuit Electricity needs a path to flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of an electric cell. An electric cell is a device which produces electric charge because of some chemical reactions. The cell which is used in a torch is called dry cell. The wet cells are used in car batteries. A normal dry cell gives an output of 1.5 volts, a connection that provides a path outside an electric cell for the electricity to flow from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the cell is called an electric circuit. For example, a bulb glows only when the positive terminal and the negative terminal of an electric cell are connected to the two terminals of the bulb. If the wires from the bulb are connected to the same terminal, either positive or negative, then the bulb does not glow. Sometimes the bulb may not glow even though the connections are properly made. This may be because the flow of electricity is incomplete as the filament in the bulb is broken. A bulb with broken filament is said to be fused. Circuit Diagram A circuit diagram is a graphical representation of an electric circuit. In an electric circuit, when the switch is turned on, the electric circuit is complete or closed. The electricity flows through the circuit. When the switch is off, the electric circuit is an open circuit and is not complete. The electric current does not flow in such circuits. The direction of current is from positive terminal of battery to its negative terminal. The circuit diagrams are used for the design, construction and maintenance of electrical and electronic equipment. Symbols used in electric circuit The different components of an electric circuit are shown by certain symbols. The use of symbols makes it easy to represent an electric circuit and to understand it easily. For example, a television mechanic can identify different components of a TV by looking at its circuit diagram depicted with symbols. Some common components of an electric circuit. Components, symbol, purpose, cell or battery, provides electrical energy. Power supply can be used in place of cells. Wire allows current to pass through it. Bulb or light converts electrical energy into heat and light. Switch allows circuit to be opened or closed. Electric current. The flow of electric charge is called electric current. In an electric circuit, the charge is often carried by moving electrons. The SI unit of electric current is ampere. The SI unit of electric charge is coulomb. An electric cell or a battery are the source of electric charge in an electric circuit. Battery. A battery is a device consisting of one or more electrical cells that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. More than one cell is used in most of the devices because the device needs more than 1.5 volt of power. For example, an automobile battery may be made up of six or eight cells that are connected together. Every battery is basically an electric cell where chemical reactions take place between two electrodes which act as the source of the chemical energy or electric charge for an electric current to flow. When more than one cell is used in an electric circuit, they have to be connected in a proper manner for electric current to flow through the circuit. The batteries can be connected in two ways, series or parallel. Series Connection in series connection, the components connected in series are joined along a single path. So, same current flows through all the components. In series connection, the current through each of the component is same. In this, every device must work for the circuit to be complete. If a bulb breaks out in series connection, circuit breaks. Parallel connection. In parallel connection, the components are connected in parallel along the multiple paths. 
In this, the total current is the sum of the currents through each component. In this, each bulb has its own circuit. If one bulb burns out, another can still work. Electric switch. An electric switch is a device for completing and breaking an electric circuit. When the path for the flow of current is complete, the switch is said to be on. When the path is incomplete, the switch is said to be off. A switch has two states, that is, open or closed. When the switch is open, no current can flow through it. When a switch is closed, current flows through it. The main purpose of a switch in a circuit is either to break the circuit or to complete it. The switches used in lighting of electric bulbs and other devices in our homes work on the same principle, although their designs are more complex. Heating effect of an electric current When the electric current flows through a conducting wire, the temperature of wire increases. This is called heating effect of electric current. This is because every material resists the flow of electric current that passes through it. This is called resistance. Copper wire is a good conductor of electricity. Still, it also has some resistance. It is just like rubbing of our hands against each other produces some heat and our palms become warm. In the same way, the wire heats up when electric current passes through it. This is due to the heating effect of electric current. The resistance can be compared with the force of friction. The electric appliances like iron, water heater, microwave, geyser, toaster, room heater all work due to the heating effect of an electric current. An electric appliance has a highly coiled wire or a metallic rod. This is called the element of the heating appliance. The highly coiled structure increases the surface area and thus provides more heat. The elements are usually made of constantin. It is a copper nickel wire used in electric work for its high resistance and a very high melting point. Conditions necessary for heating effect. Appliances which require heating effect have conductors or the heating elements. Heating elements should have high melting point so that they do not get damaged due to the heat generated. These elements should have low tendency to react with oxygen to avoid catching fire. The amount of heat generated in a wire depends upon its material, length and thickness. How does a bulb glow? A bulb is an example of a device which works because of the heating effect of electric current. It has a partial vacuum, argon gas and a filament made of tungsten metal. Tungsten has very high melting point and resistance that is the reason it is used in electric bulb. When an electric current passes through the filament, due to its high resistance, it heats up to about 2500 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, the tungsten filament begins to glow and emits light. The argon gas filled inside the bulb prevents the filament from catching fire. Electric fuse The electric fuse works on the principle of the heating effect of electric current. It is a safety device to prevent damage to an electrical circuit when excessive current flows through it. Fuses are always connected in series with the components to be protected from overcurrent. Electric fuse has body made of ceramic and two points for attaching the fuse wire. As the electric current increases beyond the limit, the wire in the electric fuse melts and breaks off. The fuse is then said to have blown off. The circuit is broken and current stops flowing through it. Thus, a fuse prevents fires. There are various types of fuses. Some fuses are used only in buildings while others are used in appliances. In electrical devices, a glass fuse is often used. This is a small glass tube in which lies the fuse wire. How does short circuit occur? When all the appliances are connected to the same socket, these appliances draw more current and so the load increases. If the insulation on the wires breaks, two wires carrying the current come into contact with each other directly. This causes a spark which leads to fire. This is called short circuit. Miniature circuit breaker Miniature circuit breaker or MCBs are used to replace electric fuse from wiring at most of the places. The electric fuse has a big practical problem. Whenever the wires fuse, one needs to replace the wire to resume electrical supply. This becomes tedious task. Miniature circuit breakers break the circuit automatically. One just needs to switch it on to resume the electrical supply. 
Many models of MCBs have a built-in mechanism by which the electric supply is automatically resumed. Magnetic effect of electric current. When an electric current flows through a wire, the wire behaves like a magnet. This is known as the magnetic effect of electric current. It was discovered by Hans Christian Oersted, 1977 to 1851. Once, while preparing for a lecture, he noticed that there was a deflection in the needle of a magnetic compass kept near a wire that was connected to a battery. This deflection occurred every time the battery was switched on and off. He realized that a magnetic field is created around a current carrying wire in a circuit. Electromagnet. When electric current flows through a wire wound around an iron bar, the bar behaves like a magnet. A magnet made using an arrangement is called an electromagnet. In electromagnets, wire is wrapped around an iron rod in many turns and electric current is supplied to the wire. As long as the current is supplied, the iron rod behaves like a magnet. A solenoid is a device which can be used as an electromagnet. It is made of a long wire that has been wound many times into a tightly packed coil, increasing the strength of an electromagnet. The strength of an electromagnet depends on the number of turns of the wire around the core and the amount of current passing through it. The more number of turns, more powerful the magnet. It attracts 3 iron nails when wrapped with a coil with more turns. If you switch off the current flowing in it, the iron nails will fall down due to the loss of magnetic effect. It means it will stop behaving like a magnet and thus will not attract the iron nails. Uses of electromagnets. Electromagnets are used in toys, are in industries, electric bells, cranes and maglev trains. Cranes are used for separating magnetic materials from junk and to lift cars and other heavy objects. Eye doctors use electromagnets to remove tiny pieces of magnetic material that have accidentally fallen in the eye. Electric bulb. An electric bell is a simple device that uses an electromagnet to make sound. It is used as a doorbell in homes. The electric bell consists of an iron core on which is wound a wire using a coil. One end of the coil is connected to one terminal of a battery and the other end to a steel rod that acts like a spring for the hammer touching the screw contact. The other terminal of the battery is connected to the screw contact with a switch in the middle. Working of an electric bell. When you press the switch, the electric current flows through the coil and the iron strip acts as an electromagnet. The iron strip attracts the magnet towards it. The hammer hits the bell and produces a sound. When you leave the switch, the circuit breaks and the hammer moves towards the iron strip. At this point, the iron strip stops working as an electromagnet. The hammer is pulled back to its original position. The process repeats itself and you hear a ringing sound since the hammer keeps hitting the bell until the switch is released.